In this episode of Camper Rescue, we will test if buying an old motorhome and trying to fix it is a good idea. Or more precisely, is it economically a good idea? Matteo and Camilla bought a 23 years old motorhome with a few small jobs to be done. As it was their first acquisition of this type, they found some surprises, as everyone would do. After receiving a couple of ridiculous quotations, they got in touch with us through our friends. We met in the camper to see what might be the problem and if we can help them at all. Where you had the idea to buy the camper van? <laughs> she got the idea. Yeah, when I was a child, I spent all my holiday in a van. No way. Oh. And then I'm waiting a baby and I hope that she can enjoy the same experience. Clearly, the biggest problem was the slipping area. After opening the wall, we witnessed that one of the sides is completely rotten. You could literally break the wood with your hands. On the roof, we found the source of the problem. The cover for the fridge ventilation was completely missing. Most probably, for the last two years, the rainwater was freely coming in as the motorhome wasn't used. The second problem was exactly the state of the roof, and any camper would need some attention even after 15 years. This one was desperate after 25. For some reason, the hatches were closed with the fiberglass boxes. You might have better water insulation, but you are messing on the ventilation and the amount of light in the camper. Wood on the platform is weak. Some strange emergency lighting with an electrical plug, unnecessary television antenna, old cables which were falling apart in your hands. Paint is chipping. That afternoon, we decided to dedicate 15 days for this project. Apart from what we mentioned already, we will tidy up all the cupboards, change the floor, water taps, new lights and a few other cool things. We hope that with small amount of money, we can quickly fix the interior. Yeah, making a really pleasant atmosphere inside and uh, safe from outside. Let's not waste time and uh, this is your glass. And nice. this, this build, we're using gloves actually. time you're cleaning Max, huh? Yeah. Oh, I see they were making honey here. I guess it was like a side project while you're traveling. You just homemade honey. The best honey from Exploration Brothers. 100% natural from the best parkings of Europe. Please support our channel. Buy the honey and subscribe. That's half a day gone. We remove the, the hatches, unscrew the screws, everything off from the roof. To make this project, Matteo organized a private parking, which was much, much better compared to DIY store parking. The not nice thing to work outside is the humidity on the roof, so you cannot work straight away. While my brother is finishing with the roof, I will finish this part. It's extremely important to not fall in love with your new motorhome and not to start spending a lot of money or trying to change everything. To save some money, we will clean these hatches instead of changing them. Max! Uh, did I wake you up? No, no, I was, uh, I was just thinking which direction to go. Go to the right. Sanding off the roof is not a quick job, but at the same time extremely satisfying, as you see fast changing results. Working with tools and batteries is fantastic. With a tiny tool we save so much time and actually will make a much better job. In the campers everything is connected. It seems that we're working on the roof, but in reality we have to fix the cables as well. Yeah, it's uh, years of adding and uh, modifying quickly without involving yourself too deep. You have to always find this balance because Thing, like just even to clean the Sikoflex, you can spend like days or weeks to get this perfection, or you can just remove a bit more than essential. To celebrate hatch installation, we had some coffee break. Started getting a bit messy here, huh? Oh yes, it is. To speed up our workflow, we decided to make a tool stand, but this is work in progress. While we were editing the video, we finished the stand. If you are interested to see more details, link in the description. Changing silicon on every joint is the most important thing. 
you want to eliminate any possible change of water infiltration. To our surprise, we used about 8 tubes for the exterior of the camper. UV resistant silicones are not cheap. Why don't you buy a new camper van and you buy a used one? Because this one is the first one, of not the first experience, so we decided not to invest too much money in the first experience, no? But then we discovered that, 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 that this camper had some problems and we didn't know how to solve them and uh, we have found you. After cleaning the roof with alcohol, we mixed special rubber-based paint, which is mostly used for swimming pool, and applied two coats all around the camper. It took us four and a half days to transform the roof and change all the silicone all around the camper. As the final thing, we cleaned solar panels and put them back on the roof. How is the roof? It's nice, really nice. And it's white, finally. We move to the second most important job on this project, overhead cabin, which we will call Mansarda. For sure it's not the most comfortable spot to work, but what can you do? Everything is connected. This is glued to this, silicone, uh, and you basically open everything. Yeah, the trick thing is the mattress is lying down here and you have the air come out. So where the air goes into the mattress, so we're thinking to bring them out here more logical way. Okay. Most of the time you have several jobs going on at the same time as everything interconnected. You cannot close the panels until you don't have all the wires installed. And maybe you cannot install cables until you understand all the electrical system of the camper. So at the beginning, you are wasting a lot of time for these things. Between the ceiling and front wall, we will leave a small gap where we'll install a strip of LED light. I'm quite happy that you can just use it as a belt, look. You have a hole. You choose the right size of the hole. You have a cable tie. Keep it in the pocket. You can clean your hands, clean your mouth. Real gentleman stuff, I right hear. Our plan was to use a three millimeters wood panel with one centimeter foam covered in textile to create five separate panels to cover every wall of sleeping area. To avoid baggy textile, we used some spray glue on both surfaces. Panels are connected with glue and small screws, which are going directly through the textile. It's a perfect time to tip clean hatches as well. Some magic. Yeah, you don't need to buy a new hatch because the magic sponge with the, some degreaser does the job. Finally, Max moved uh, from the paintings of uh, penises to drawings of little and cute animals with small penises. <laughs> We had some extra space after moving the heating pipe, so we will make a bookshelf with some USB chargers for the phones there. We've tried three types of dye for fake leather, but none of them was doing a good job, so we left it in the original state. We finished the main two problems of this camper, and we're happy to start smaller but more interesting jobs. It's really confusing what's going on here. Is it 220? Is it 12? Most of the mess in the camper was created by some random and unnecessary cables all around the walls. A part of extremely satisfying feeling from doing these jobs, they are actually useful as you start to understand what's going on in the camper. Some old, non-existent systems, stickers on the walls, strange screws without reason, cables in the middle of the cupboards, old hooks. I would call this type of lights depression lights. So try to get rid of them, other way you will get real depression, you know. Look at this. It was a badass fridge and now it's a boring fridge, Max. Yeah, this is the fun. The main goal was to change all lights in the camper by integrating LED strips and spotlights. 
As my brother described, it had depressing light. Passing new cables is not too difficult job, but since we wanted to control all lights from the entrance of the camper, it gave us a few challenges. Connecting that light lamp to the switch here takes a bit of thinking and planning. All the cables are hidden, looks much more tidy, much more clean. Bombastic. We moved the inverter inside of the sofa. There is no real reason to have it outside, as it won't be used for extended periods of time. Inverter constantly consumes power when it's turned on. We will move its switch next to the electrical plug by making a simple extension, which will be switching on that inverter. This is bathroom light three strips of lead because the bathroom needs to be bright so you feel it's fresh and clean. Watch out for your eyes. We put filler on the ceiling and we paint tomorrow morning. Painting ceiling is one of the super easy things and it's so refreshing. The difference is huge. Look how wide is that? It is the first time we are working in a professionally made camper and I feel like I can complain about the quality of materials. They are so thin and delicate. We understand that everyone is minimizing the weight of the vehicle, but I'm not sure if I do like this tendency by sacrificing the quality. In any case, the ceiling came out great. I'm sure if you will find some time to clean your hatch, it's an immediate refresh for your camper without opening the paint. Just don't be lazy. First you use a dry brush and then you have wet. Most of the screws on the camper are rusty, and these ones are not an exception. Painting plastic parts is not the easiest thing, and the quality of paint is very important. Make sure your paint is suitable for plastic parts, as otherwise you would need to use a primer. Just the greaser. That's the difference, huh? Yeah, look at this one, look. Before painting the door, I've cleaned it and I had doubt if I should paint it at all. It came out really well and you could see the clear line. We bought the paint already, so we decided to paint it anyway. The thickness of the ceiling is 3 cm and we couldn't find anything nice with an affordable price. To solve the problem, we will make a custom lamp from the wood. The biggest visual transformation comes from painting the furniture and walls. It seems a very simple process, but no matter how much you do it, it's very difficult to master. Almost ready. It requires thorough preparation and you cannot cut the corners here. Fantastic. There are numerous types of paints for different materials and they need to match between them and you have to respect drying time. We did our best and the result was still average. So I would say we still need to practice more. Some of the walls were too damaged, so we had to paint them. We have two days left. We are at our final stage of the build. When you do the things, you don't see the changes, because they're happening slowly in front of you, but the, when people come and see the van, it's a lot of changes. And I hope they're like, what? Pipe connections is my biggest enemy on these projects and this wasn't an exception. I was really lucky that next to us we had a professional plumber, Claudio. He helped me to create a custom connection from an old water tub by welding it. For me, it's mind-blowing of what you can do with professional tools. Changing shower tub was a nightmare. Normal water tubs are more bulky and fitting in was a real test of my patience. At the end, I've managed to do it with a rough DIY solution. And next time, something better needs to be invented. My grandfather will be very proud of me. <laughs>
On weekends, Matteo and Camilla were helping us, so they would have the camper ready faster. If you have this metal grid in case of an accident, you are automatically losing your insurance. It was a real struggle to remove it. Andre! You saved the insurance. At the same time, Camilla was fixing the plate number, which lost all the color. If the police stops you with an unreadable plate, you will pay a fine. By painting it, the guy saved <laughs> around 200 euros. How is it going here? Mm, not so good. No. <laughs> With the spray paint for plastic, we improved the look on the mirrors. We're doing some glass preparation before painting this area. We'll paint the same color, white, so it looks more equal. fresh. Yeah. More and fresh. this will be brown color, same as more or less like that thing. Doing a really quality job takes a lot of time. At this stage, we didn't have much time left, so we quickly painted just the bottom part of the camper with a normal DIY paint. I hope it will last for a little bit. Retro camera. No box. It's cool. Yeah. Driving and parking more than 7 Travel meters motorhome. The, it's a real uh, challenge in Italy and most of the Europe. Solution was to install this dash cam with a rear view camera, activated automatically with the reverse light. It's a hassle to extend the cable, but I think it's worth the money. Instead of plastic wooden floor, we decided to try plastic vinyl with adhesive on the bottom. It's lighter and thinner. Price is more or less the same as a wooden floor. Installation is very simple and requires good cleaning with a simple cutter. The whole procedure took us about 4 hours from start to finish. In the future, we'll make a video update about this project, where we'll share all the mistakes and problems we had. On the edges between floor and wall, we used brown silicone. Happy? Yeah. Probably some people will criticize me for changing partners too often. Yesterday it was Camila. Today is Max. Try to change partners for other activities. Checking the fridge, checking everything. And we're almost done. I'm not sure what happened here, but I forgot to reconnect the water pipe under the sink. And having an electrical system underneath is not ideal. Luckily, nothing happened. You know, we are breaking stereotypes here. So remember to use gloves. Oh. We almost finished. And after doing some general cleaning all around the camper, we moved to the normal parking for last minute things. On the journey, we had a small issue. Ventilation grill for the fridge was lost, so we had to change the whole hatch. For one thing like this, you can lose the, the whole grill for 50 euro. The plastic, with the time, you see it, look. We're making some spaghetti here. As last preparation, we had to make the mattress a little bit shorter. We couldn't do this without help of this nice lady with the dog. It's the last day, and the guys are leaving for their first trip today. Ready? We finished the mattress and helped to pass cables for a rear view camera. To answer the main question, is it convenient to buy something really old and fix it? There is no easy answer, as everything depends if all the systems are working, like fridge, heating, oven. Biggest role plays the price of the camper, as with everything else. Most probably. You wouldn't know everything, and you cannot fix all the things in the van. So as long as main systems are working and maintained, you'll be fine. Paint and water taps are not extremely expensive. For this project we spent about 800 euro in materials and it took us 15 days. Matteo and Camilla fixed the fridge with 100 euro and water valves with 85. It was expensive but not much. At the end we bought in a lot of stuff, no? So yeah. we need it. We finished the van. Looks fantastic. I forgot the pipe under the sink. <laughs> Thank you for helping. There are a few things not ideal, but overall the van looks much better. It looks great, I would say. Yeah, you can live, you can travel with it, and of course you can spend much more time and improve like smallest details. You can spend like months. Now it's it's really nice and it's functional, and you can travel, you can live in it. So, what's your first trip? The Interland of Florence. Interland of Florence. Ah, next nice. time. Yeah. Tuscany the first trip. What yeah. can be better? Yes. We're ready for the next lockdown. 
<laughs> Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Thank yeah. you much, guys. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.